Hi, I'm Pete Basilici, a senior product line manager here at Wattstopper. I'd like to take a few minutes of your time and provide an introduction to the new LILM series lighting control panel from Wattstopper. In this video, we'll take a look at how the new LILM series lighting control panel fits in with the rest of the lighting integrator product line. We'll also have a look at the fit with the rest of the digital lighting management products. We'll look at the key features and benefits of the LILM panel and how the panel integrates with the digital lighting management segment manager. Take a look at, at what maybe might be replaced in the future by the LILM panel and what you can expect in future enhancements to the LILM series panel. At this point, it's helpful to note the nomenclature, LILM. The LILM panel is part of the existing lighting integrator series of lighting control panels. As such, it shares a number of key features and specifications with the rest of the product line, including the same three sizes, 8, 24, and 48 relays. The same enclosure options for surface and flush mounting. The same great HDR relays. The ability to accept low voltage switches both at the relay driver level and at the group switch card level. And of course, the Wattstopper exclusive smart wiring process. Compatibility with the Wattstopper AS100 automatic wall switch and UL924 emergency relay panel options. There's no need to rehash the benefits of distributed lighting controls. The DLM story is compelling and the ROI speaks for itself. However, there will always be applications or spaces within the building that can be better served by lighting control panels. The most obvious being exterior lighting. Therefore, there will always be projects that will require both DLM distributed controls and lighting control panels. The LILM panel has a number of features that allow it to complement DLM, especially on network projects. An integral user interface, RJ45 connectivity, compatibility with DLM digital switches and digital occupancy sensors, and networking with the segment manager, as well as BAS integration with third parties via BACnet. The panel's built-in user interface has an OLED display and keypad that allow it to be configured locally without the need for a PC or software. So while the panel still supports direct wired low voltage switches and analog occupancy sensors, the panel also has four RJ45 ports for connection of DLM digital switches and digital occupancy sensors. The LILM is also designed to seamlessly share the segment network with the DLM rooms. And the segment manager or the BAS. BACnet is standard with the LILM panel, making it capable of seamless integration to the building automation system. These three feature sets are what distinguish LILM from the rest of the LI panel line. Let's take a look at each with a little more detail. The user interface in the panel is quite similar in appearance to the LMCT100, the handheld commissioning tool for digital lighting management. While the appearance is complementary, the functionality is actually quite different. The UI in the panel is limited to setup features of the panel. However, the LMCT100 can be used to configure the DLM switches and digital occupancy sensors that are connected to the panel. More on that in a moment. The user interface is configured with a keypad and an OLED display. The keypad has a traditional back button and a home button that returns the display to the main menu. Navigation keys, left, right, up, down, allow you to move the cursor to the feature or the function that you would like to select using the center select button. The about function provides technical information about the panel. This can be useful when discussing the panel with Wattstopper technical support. The setup menu provides information that identifies the panel on the segment network, it includes the BACnet panel ID and the MSDP MAC address. The status menu allows us to see the current status for the relays and the channels and allows us to override. 
From the program menu, we can actually name the relays and channels and program the channels with the familiar manual on, auto on, operation, blink warn, or set a time delay for the channel. So there you have it. A few simple menus allow us to set the panel up without having to have a PC and software. Now let's have a look at smart wiring DLM digital switches and DLM sensors to control relays in the panel. The process of smart wiring is similar to what you are accustomed to using our older data line switches. Let's go ahead and smart wire a button to control some relays in the panel. I'm going to start with a pointed object like a pen. I'm going to press the config button on the switch. Notice that both LEDs on both buttons are blinking. Let's select the top button for smart wiring. I'll now select a relay in the panel for that button to control and simply press the config button again to cancel smart wiring. The top button now controls that relay in the panel. It's that simple. Smart wiring a sensor is very similar to smart wiring a button. I'm going to start by pressing the configure button on the sensor, select the relay in the panel to be controlled, and simply press the configure button again to cancel smart wiring. At this point we can confirm the assignment with the up button on the sensor. Notice that the four RJ45 ports are located in two banks of two. They're labeled A and B. Each bank will support up to a thousand feet of Cat5 wire, each with either 30 switches or PIR sensors. Dual tech sensors require more power and can be substituted for the switches and PIR sensors two for one. If your application requires either more wire or more devices, there are options. So contact technical support or project management. In addition to smart wiring, switch and sensor settings can be configured using the LMCT100 or the LMCS100 software and a PC. An important feature of the LILM panel on a DLM network will be to provide on-off control of relays based on a schedule. All scheduling on the DLM network is provided either by the segment manager or by the building automation system. Scheduling in the panel is actually quite flexible. The eight channels in each panel can independently be scheduled into normal hours and after hours mode. Alternately, individual relays can be scheduled on and off, which is ideal for outdoor lighting. So after discovery by the segment manager, the LILM panel appears in the tree view just like the DLM rooms and is represented by a green panel icon. Clicking on the panel provides access to the description field where a meaningful name for the panel can be entered. Note that this name will appear beside the panel icon in the tree. Expanding the panel in the tree provides access to the channels and to the relays. It should be noted at this point that unlike the room controller, the switches and sensors connected to the panel do not show up in the tree under the panel. A future version of the panel will provide access to these from the segment manager. Remember that currently settings can be made for switches and sensors using the CT100 or the LMCS software. Clicking on channels in the tree will display a list of all eight channels with their current status. Expanding channels in the tree provides access to the eight automation channels for programming and setup. Opening a channel, we can enter a meaningful name for the channel and set the channel parameters for blink warn, time delay, and auto on or manual on. These settings are virtually identical to their counterparts in the H clock and the LIB panel. Another nice feature of LILM on this screen is the ability to force the channel into after hours or normal hours mode to test its operation. No more having to reset the clock repeatedly to run schedule tests. Clicking on relays in the tree shows all the relays and their current on-off state. Expanding a relay in the tree displays a page where you can enter a meaningful text description for the relay, see the current on-off state of the relay, and override it. You can also see which channel the relay is currently assigned to, and you can change it from this screen. So in addition to configuring the relays and channels, the group function of the segment manager is used to combine relays for common control by schedules. 
and the scheduling feature of the segment manager allows creation of schedules that apply to both panels and rooms. So there you have it, the LILM series from Wattstopper, the perfect companion to your digital lighting management lighting control system. And watch for future enhancements that will provide even more synergy with DLM.